gentlemen, this is KOK World Championship 2018, KOK Super Fight. Blue Corner, fighter representing Norway, Simon Santana. Simon Santana of Norway, by way of Spain. Very, very experienced fighter for a 30-year-old. 38, 13, and one. And is gonna have a six centimeter height advantage over the reigning champion, Stanislav Rinita. Now the belt is not on the line in this particular matchup, but should Santana get the victory here, you would think that it would be cause for an automatic rematch for the championship. Santana has fought for most of the top kickboxing organizations in the world, and now he's gonna tick King of Kings Simon off of his bucket list. Norway. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner. Fighter representing Moldova, Stanislav, Renice! Big round of applause here going out for the reigning featherweight champion, Stanislav Renita. He's going into his third year as champion here in KOK. He's won the World Grand Prix Championship. He's defended the title, he's fought all over the world, and he has got a huge fan following here in Kishino. Listen to this crowd. Spanish kickboxing champion, Norwegian Muay Thai champion, Oslo Fight Night champion, WKN World champion from Norway, Simon Santana. <laughs> Fighting for the red corner, 25 years old, of middle height 166 centimeter, official weight 65 kilograms. His personal record, 13 wins, 6 losses. Galileo champion, KOK world champion. Fighter representing Thai star Jim Moldova. Stanislav Renice. Rick Gregory Sukhan Yurian, KOK rules, 3 rounds, 3 minutes each. Fighters, you are fighting KOK rules, so very much matter all time. No clinching, no elbow. Take your hands if you want to. Judge, judge, judge. First round. Fight. Round one. Here we go. 65 kilo action here at King of Kings, the co-main event of the evening. Featherweight champion Stanislav Ronita in the long black trunks and. Simon Santana, very successful veteran fighter in the black shorts. A lot of smoke on that kick from Santana, but took a push kick simultaneously in the process from Renita. You can see that Santana, a little bit taller, six centimeters to be exact. But look at Renita, man. He looks in great shape for this fight as does Santana. Both guys obviously very well prepared here. Yeah. 
Nice shot there from Santana. You could hear the crack on that kick as he popped him with a jab coming in as well. Nice combo by the Moldovan. Caught him with the right hand. Renita is quick, man. He is very, very quick inside that ring and extremely agile. Wow, does he mean business with those kicks. This crowd almost completely silent here until then when they just erupted. I think they can sense the power in these two smaller fighters. This is the lightest weight division in KOK, but you can feel the power here between these two guys. You get the feeling that, you know, it's not just the heavyweight guys that could end it with one shot. You think these two lightweights could do it at any moment. Turning back kick there from Santana. Listen to these shots echoing off the walls here in the Minaj Arena. Earlier in the night, on the second part of the show, the Heroes World Series, we saw a 65 kilogram tournament, four man tournament. And the winner will So you would think that he would be next in line for a title shot against Renita, who's got a small cut on his left cheek. Sirbu and Renita have fought three times before in the past, so should their paths cross, Five. will be the fourth time. Renita did win two out of the three fights. But he's got that left cut opened up now on the cheek. So Santana did his damage. Take a look at this crowd here. Jam packed full. Up in the nosebleed section as well. Huge crowd on hand here as usual. In the KOK stronghold of Kishino Moldova. The show co-promoted between FEA, the Fighting Entertainment Association, and KOK, King of Kings. Every year, at least two times, sometimes three times, KOK comes to Moldova. I love Moldova. <laughs> Fighters. Second round. Right back to action here in round number two. Between these two featherweights, Renita goes downstairs with the right hand. Inside low kick, man, this action is so quick. Good combo. Santana claims to be a, a strong counter puncher. But I tell you what, a lot of times he's getting off first as well. Listen to this crowd. This is a very educated, smart kickboxing audience. They know a good fight when they see one, and they have a lot of respect for the foreign fighters too, if they can come in here and bring the fight. We've seen a lot of classic bouts over the years in KOK under this roof. Cracking shot there from Santana. Overhand right. Santana's been a fighter since he came out of the wound. Started doing karate at the age of seven. Switched to kickboxing at the age of 18. And is now 30 years old. Renita, five years younger at 25. Very busy fighter here in KOK. Even when he's not defending the title, he's not 
mandated to defend the title, still loves to step into the ring. What, what on earth is happening here? I think he's, his, uh, his Vaseline was hanging from his eyebrows in a very awkward position there. It looked like it just kind of solidified and was dripping somewhat from his eyebrows. Nice combo there by the champ. Oh, cracking shots there from both guys. Look at that. Even when he just kind of half-heartedly threw a kick, you can still feel the power behind it. And Santana's having a pretty good showing for himself so far. I think he could inject himself right into title contention, no matter what the outcome is, just based on his performance thus far in these first two rounds. Good movement by both guys. They're so quick. Lots of different angles being shown. Closing seconds, and that does it for round number two. Whoa! Take a look at some highlights from round number two here. That was pretty much three solid minutes of highlights, if you ask me. Wow. These two really going at it tooth and nail for the entire duration of that round. Back and forth. Well, both guys have been slowly and surely chipping away at each other for six minutes so far. There's three minutes left in this fight. It is not a title matchup, so there's only three rounds. And keep in mind, coming up next, the final of the World Grand Prix in the 77 kilogram weight division. Final round. Here we go. Three minutes on the clock here. Nice push kick there by Santana. Quick hands by the champ. Wow, lightning fast there from Renita. Overhand right connects. Renita comes firing right back. These two are looking to turn this thing into a war. Jumping, turning, back kick there from the Norwegian. Quick shots, upstairs, downstairs. Renita egging him on. This is just such a pleasure to watch. These guys fighting so hard, neither one backing down, both guys willing to open up. This is incredible featherweight action here in King of Kings. Nice shots by Renita. You never know where this guy's gonna strike next. Keeps you guessing all the time. It's not just going in there throwing the same combo time after time. Almost looks like you're watching the fight and fast forward. For those of you who are alive in the VHS era and you could actually fast forward video cassettes. These guys are moving so quick. Look at that. Time they caught each other simultaneously. Just about a minute left now in this third and final round. There's not a whole lot between these two, man. I'll tell you what, very, very evenly matched in this fight. Now, how the judges are scoring it is another thing, but I, re I really do wish the title was on the line, and this was a five-round fight. Here comes Renita!
Right hand by Santana. Jab lands. Whoa! Big, powerful shots. Look at the left side of Stanislav Vernita from those kicks. These two still fighting hard all the way to the end. Final 10 seconds now. Here we go! Beautiful knees on the inside. And Renita let one fly. Time. Wow, what a fight! Maybe the fight of the night so far. That was just a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle for three solid rounds. Neither guy backing down here. They both got their licks in, but nobody could put the other one down. And that third round Take a look at some highlights. I, I, say, I think I said the same thing last round, too. That was just a solid three minutes of highlights there. If you want to get all the highlights in, you just have to watch the whole fight again, which wouldn't be a bad idea if you're watching later in time in the future on YouTube or on the FEA Moldova Facebook page or wherever. Watch it again, folks. And take notes if you're an up-and-coming fighter. Let's get the official word from Rytas Kuzmenka. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Championship 2018. KOK Super Fight. After three rounds, by unanimous judge decision, the winner is... Red Corner, Stanislav Renica, Moldova. A thunderous ovation here for Stanislav Rinita, Simon Santana taking that loss with a grain of salt. But uh, man, I'll tell you what, he had a very, very impressive performance here. And I would love to see Simon Santana back for a rematch, maybe for the title. We'll have to keep an eye on the featherweight division. We know that. Dimitru Sirbu has won the contenders tournament, so he's got to be in line too. Let's see what Renita has.